Thought you might be a bit further along by now. Well, look at it, Mr. Ford. I'm about a quarter of a mile ahead on the fence of where I was last year. Yeah, it could be. It could be. Anyhow, I didn't come out here to talk fencing. I came to talk gold. You know, Rob? <laughs> you've been a pretty good old boy. And I think I've treated you a lot fairer than any white man I know would ever treat a nigger. Don't you think? You say so, Mr. Ford. My son Mark's got to see a gold strike in California. It ain't exactly the mother load, but uh, he says if you had a little help, you could take out quite a bit. So I told him I'd send you to him. Well, what about my family? What about our freedom? You know when I brought you out here with your family, with me to Oregon, I told you I'd set you free just as soon as we had this farm set up and I could handle it myself. Well, Mr. Ford, it's been almost five years now. How long is it going to take you to set up this farm? Hey, don't sass me, boy. I tell you what to do and I tell you where to go. Don't you forget, you're my property. And I could set you free, or I could sell you. The whole lot of you. Now, you just be ready to go tomorrow with dawn. Huh? Let's go, boy. Eat everything in your plate now. May I have some more, please? <laughs> sure. I'll get it, Mom. Thank you. Damn. Yeah. Thank you. You know, if we can get some more rain next year, we might be able to keep most of them potatoes for ourselves, at least two bushels. Instead of giving them all to the fours, huh? I hope so. Would anyone else like any more, Daddy? No, I'm fine, Harry. Thank you. Look here, y'all. I got something to say, and now's as good a time as any to say it. Mr. Ford told me he's going to send me off to California to work in the gold fields with his son, Mark. Oh, good. You're going to go on a trip. No, baby. You ain't going. Matter of fact, ain't none of y'all going. Ain't that white man done enough to this family? He treats us like we're mules talking about freedom. Like, he's, it's just to keep us going. Now he's going to split us up like we ain't got no love and no feelings for each other. I'm sick and tired of the whole thing. Why don't, why don't we just light out of here and run away? No, now, Polly, running ain't the answer now. We start running, they'll hunt us down like a pack of dogs and sell us all off. That ain't the answer. Y'all get them long faces off. Just go ahead and wipe them frowns off your face now. Go ahead and get ready for bed. I don't want to see no crying and boo-hooing when I leave out of here tomorrow. Go ahead now, get ready for bed. No playing around tonight, y'all. Now, Mom and Daddy's got a lot on their minds, so you got to go right to sleep. Will we ever see Daddy again? Oh, Annie, don't talk such trash. You'll be cussing soon, Jenny. Now, Annie's just a baby, and you got to be patient sometimes. But, Harriet, you heard Daddy. He said we always be together. Harriet, will we always be together? Daddy said we'll always be together. And ain't nothing can separate us but God Almighty himself. So go to sleep. We should take the children and go. No, we haven't been through that now. now. Look, I agreed when we come here to Oregon from Missouri to help the Fords homestead their place and then we'd be free. Now, we didn't come too far to turn back now. We can't do something that dead wrong. How much work is a body to do? I mean, you've worked. I've worked. The children have worked. I mean, where does it end? It ends when I get back from the gold fields. Mr. Ford done promised me a share of the money from them diggings, and he's going to use the rest of the money to fix up the farm. He ain't going to need us no more. 
Then we'll be free. Robin. Robin, don't trust that white man. He ain't ever meant no black person no good. I mean, not when he was sheriff of Missouri, and not now. He's not a man of his word. Now, that may be so, but... Just because he ain't a man of his word don't mean I ain't a man of mine. And I promise to see this thing through. If I'm going to be a free man, then I got to accept the responsibilities. Find someone to write for you. Send us a letter and I can read it to everybody. Okay, Harriet, I'll do that. Daddy? Huh? Don't forget me. I'm gonna forget you, baby. Child's always been high strung. Yeah, but it's there's something else about Harriet, Polly. You ever get the feeling she knows something we don't know? You know what I mean? Thank you. Something else about Harriet, Polly. You ever get the feeling she knows something we don't know? You know what I mean? Goldfields with his brother Mark.
No, no. Get some water. Go get, get a blanket. Harry. Harry. What's wrong, baby? What's wrong? Mama. Mama. Mama, I, yes. I saw Daddy, Mama. Yes, baby. Her? Mm -hmm. okay. It's gonna I'm be here. okay, Please. Mama. Please don't. Don't die. He's coming. Please don't die. Please don't He's got to go. Please don't He's got to go. Please. It's okay, Mom. It's okay. God, no. 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 Mama. Mom. God, please. Please. I'm scared. Stay at work, man. Please tell Daddy. I couldn't wait no longer. Please tell him. But you can't help her now. You have to think of the living and the yet to be born. I figure you're about seven months along now, aren't you? Right, girl. Mm. 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 Oh, it's good to be home. Well, everything looks just like it did when I left. Where's Harriet? She died, Robin. Where's Harriet? Harriet is gone. She died two years ago. What happened? What happened? She took sick with the grip. The doctor said it was pneumonia. I don't understand what happened. She, she was strong. She never complained. And then one day she just collapsed in the field. She said she was happy because she got to see you. She tried to wait, but she just slipped away. Did she suffer? I 
guess it's God's will, huh? I'm hungry. This is your new son, Harry. He was born two days after Harry had died. Harry? I'm your daddy. I wanted to ask Mrs. Ford to write you, but I just couldn't. I know there was something special between you and Harriet. I didn't understand it all the time, and sometimes it made me jealous. But it was really beautiful to watch. I just couldn't let anybody else tell you she was gone forever. But she ain't gone. But she's still with us. She's with us now. And she's free. More coffee. God, he's back. What in the hell's got into you, woman? It's Holmes. He's back. I thought you said that Mark was going to let us know when he was going to send him back. Is that all? But he's coming to the house with Polly. He knows better than to come up here at this hour. have you back. And Polly. Well, there's nothing wrong, I hope. Children are all right, ain't they? I come to see the mister. Oh, well, what do you want to talk to him about? Maybe I could help you. No, ma'am, not with this you can. This is strictly business between us and them folks. Oh, well, what business do you have that I couldn't... Would you send him in? Good morning. Good morning. Well, what can I do for you people? I come from my share of the gold dust I dug. <laughs> what are you talking about, Rob? What am I talking about? I'm talking about my share of the $900 worth of gold dust I dug. That's what I'm talking about. Now, Rob, <laughs> I'd better explain business to you, boy. There's expenses got to come out of that. Well, there's your fare to and from the gold fields on the stagecoach. There's your room and board. And there's the care of your young and they're too young to work. And how about taking care of your little poor daughter, Harriet, when she got sick and she couldn't work? Good morning, Mr. Seems you was right, Polly. We should have lit out of here a long time ago. Hey, Y'all hurry up and take just what you need. Come on, kids. Let's move. You think he went to get the law? I don't know and I don't care. I'm not a nigga. Just give me a... Robin, please don't. That girl just gave you good advice, boy. I'm going to give you some more. Now, you and her take that little wealth and get off my land. But, Mr. Ford, we're a family and... You ain't nothing unless I say so. 
Mr. Ford, my children ain't done nothing to you. Just keep me and let my children go. No. Now, I told you when you came back, you'd be free. But you're back and you're free. But you people still owe. Those children are going to pay off the debt. You've got just one hour to get off my land. Don't you try to carry those children with you. Come on over here, all of them. Now look, don't y'all worry about what's happened here. Everything's gonna be all right. Jenny, you're gonna have to look after the family while your mother and I are gone. You all do what she tells you to, here. Yeah? You hear me? Mm -hmm. All right. Your mother and I will be back for you just as soon as we can, baby. I promise you, we'll be back for all of them. I just don't understand. I mean, it don't make sense. If we was back in Missouri, Ford would have shot me like I was a mad dog of his for what I did to him. You know, that's it. That's it. I ain't his dog. Because he freed you? No, because he ain't never owned us. Ford ain't never had no papers on us. Never. The name on them papers was the name of the man that bought us at the auction. Mayor Whitmore. Because if Ford had owned us, he'd have shot and killed me. Sure as I'm standing there. What about the children? How are we going to get them back? Why don't you worry about the children? We're going to get them back. Yeah, we're going to get them back. We're going to the law. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to the law. Get out of here. I'm not going to get a white man in here on your say-so. Think I'm crazy? Robin. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. Here it is. Can you find this place? Mr. A. B. P. Wood? Yeah, that's him. Attorney at law. Mm -hmm. We got to find that place, Polly. We got to find that man. See, I, I met him on the stagecoach on the way to California. He told me he was uh, an attorney, and he said, if we ever needed any help to come and find him, well, we need some help. Where is this Hartford place, uh, Hartford Street, or whatever it is? That's um, up in the good part of town. Well, that figures, because he's a good man. Come on, we're going to find this lawyer. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. You may be seated. Mr. Ford, you may stand up. Could you explain the existence of any agreement you had with Mr. Holmes, referred to by him in his testimony? 
Well, I told him if he accompanied me and my family to Oregon, held me set up my homestead, uh, later I would set him free. Did you have the authorization from anyone to enter into any such an agreement? What do you mean? Your Honor. I meant exactly what I said, Mr. Ford. Did you have any authority from anyone to enter into such an agreement with Mr. Holmes? Kind of, Your Honor. I don't understand, Mr. Ford. Well, I was the only white man who had the right to control those people. Mr. Wood, do you know of any outstanding warrants for the arrest of Mr. Holmes, his wife, or his children? Your Honor, I've done a thorough investigation and there are no such outstanding warrants. Thank you.